Hello, just a short video to show you the arcade machine basically. I've had this about 15 years. It came to me just a shell without no lid and it was completely gay, so it was just a box. Um, I've re spayed, not really good though, but I've re spayed them. It's got a coin mech, it doesn't work, it's an ink on the inside of the coin mech, it's just for show it's got a speaker there and there's a speaker the other side as well external nice sound i've completely covered it in black ash sticking back plastic and i put a new glass top on it this is over like 10 years stupidly the other day i rested on it and i cracked it straight across here big crack but i bought this glass from a glass company where I live in Ashford and it was £25 uh, they cut it to size so if you went to a glass company you know it's not going to be all that expensive anyway so it's two player six buttons per player uh, I think coin player two button volume Power on and off, coin, player one, buttons. It's just a, a normal 1080p TFT, press pad button. Have to turn the monitor on, boy. I was going to wire it up so the monitor comes on, but just didn't have time. And I was going to make it boot directly into hyperspin so you didn't see any of this windows but it's one of them things you never got round to comes with the keyboard and mouse as well while that's booting i'll show you how big it is length 34 inches by 24 inches by 30 inches high it will need two people and either a very small van or, or a state car or whatever Windows 7 Ultimate I'll go through the specs of the PCs later on So, basically, if you're purchasing this, please don't purchase it thinking it's going to be working out of the box. It's hyperspin. You have to keep fiddling with settings, and once you've got it right, you know, then it's okay. Believe me, I've got 72 systems on here, over 100,000 games, and... I've only configured like two or three games so you will have to know how to configure a high spin MAME uh, so please don't think you're going to buy it and it's going to be working straight out of the box do you know what I mean <laughs> so It has all the artwork. Well, these are the systems, as you can see Jagger CD, but like I said, some of these, or quite a few of them, I haven't configured fully. Um, it's like uh, Commodore 64. I haven't configured it with the keyboard. Um, but every game has all its artwork for that game. It took me many, many, many hours.
and just even under mine there's hundreds of games I'll show you when I go into the system So I've configured that one. Coin. Start. Good, it's the real one though. <laughs> yeah, I love me arcade stuff. <laughs> I've been on it for so long, I can't even remember. What it was. Oh, so it looks like that's back, that's enter. Yeah. Race is gonna run. Oh, Alexian Gallagher. Ball position. Oh. There's somewhere. Be slow. Can't even remember if I configured it. Did you think it's a steering wheel game? Through the process of uh, putting like we on here. There's loads of uh, Wii games, but I haven't configured any of these. Uh, let's pick one. So it's like you have to set up the controls yourself. Sounds like that just oh, still loading. Well, I haven't configured it. Don't. No. Nope. I ain't gonna forget that. Dolphin emulator. Yeah. 
that still on it. Let's close that. That's because I haven't set that one up because there's, like I said, so many clothes, will we? Anyway. Job, honey. PC. It's an i7 3770 CPU running at 3.5 see it there got 8GB of RAM uh, graphics card is a GeForce GTX 750 Ti I believe it's 4GB of RAM There is this PC four hard drives. Uh, the Windows one, it's Windows 7 no, I'm at my way, is 500 gig. Then there's a four terabyte hard drive, a 500 gig hard drive, and then another, well, a two terabyte hard drive. And if you go in, these are just ones and games so just pick oh, no, no, no. video games spectrum four thousand spectrum games main Wombs. Main thirty three thousand files. Right, that's how many games it is. Dreamcast, Nintendo Wii. Oh, that's how many Wii ISOs there is. But, um, show you inside. Yeah, so stupid of me. I lent there and it went. So I'm gonna reduce the price. I'm gonna knock 50 quid off. It's only cost 20 quid. I did want 350, but 300. It's got an eye pack. You can see the buttons inside. I was gonna make it a pinball machine. I'll put a button here, never got around to it. Oh. So there's a PC, it's not in the case as you can see. Let's get it in there. Power supply, four hard drives, it's a Creative Labs sound blaster, the uh, sub and the speakers on the outside. So it's a nice fast PC and a good graphics card. It's way overkill for you know MAME. But all there's all the other games can do with it so it just needs some TLC and it'll be I'll tell you play on it for hours you can even watch there on it you plug an area in comes with the lead the lead is really long it's got to be over 20 foot long um, <sighs> But so it needs configuring some more, a, a lot more, to get it all running perfectly. But it's one of them, you do it, and then there'll be 
more ROMs so you keep updating it, updating it, updating it. So please don't think you're going to get it, take it home, plug it in, jump on it. You've got to know one about hyperspin, MAME, you know, things like that. Um, but it's cheap. Uh, but there's tons of websites that help you out if you ever need. Just a shame about that. Well, thank you. Hello, just a short video to show you the arcade machine basically. I've had this about 15 years. It came to me just a shell without no lid and it was completely gay, so it was just a box. Um, I've re spayed, not really good though, but I've re spayed them. It's got a coin mech, it doesn't work, it's an ink on the inside of the coin mech, it's just for show. It's got a speaker there, and there's a speaker the other side as well, external, nice sound. I've completely covered it in black ash, sticking back plastic. And I put a new glass top on it. This is over like 10 years. Stupidly the other day. I rested on it and I cracked it. Straight across here. Big crack. But I bought this glass from a glass company where I live in Ashford. And it was £25. Uh, they cut it to size. So if you went to a glass company. You know it's not going to be all that expensive. Anyway. So it's two player, six buttons per player. Uh, I think coin, player two button, volume, power on and off, coin, player one, buttons. It's just a, a normal 1080p TFT, push pad button. I have to turn the monitor on, boy. I was going to wire it up so the monitor comes on, but I just didn't have time. And I was going to make it boot directly into Hyperspin so you didn't see any of this Windows. But it's one of them things you never got round to. It comes with the keyboard and mouse as well. While that's booting, I'll show you how big it is. Length 34 inches by 24 inches by 30 inches high. It will need two people and either a very small van or a state car or whatever. Windows 7 Ultimate. I'll go through the specs of the PCs later on. So, basically, if you're purchasing this, please don't purchase it thinking it's going to be working out of the box. It's hyperspin. You have to keep fiddling with settings and once you've got it right you know then it's okay believe me I've got 72 systems on here over 100,000 games and I've only configured like two or three games so you will have to know how to configure a high spin MAME uh, so please don't think you're going to buy it and it's going to be working straight out of the box. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so. It has all the artwork. Well, these are the systems. As you can see, Jagger CD...
but like I said, some of these, or quite a few of them, I haven't configured fully. Um, it's like uh, Commodore 64. I haven't configured it with the keyboard. Um, but every game has all its artwork for that game. It took me many, many, many hours. And just even under MAME, there's hundreds of games. I'll show you when I go into the system. So I've configured that one. Coin. Start. Good as the real one, though. <laughs> yeah, I love me arcade stuff. <laughs> I've been on it for so long, I can't even remember. But, oh, so it looks like that's back, that's enter. Yeah. Race is gonna run. Oh, Alexian Gallagher. Ball position. Oh. There's some wet. This will probably be slow. Can't even remember if I configured it. Because you think it's a steering wheel game. Well, I even went through the process of uh, putting like we. Loads of uh, Wii games, but I haven't configured any of these. Uh, let's pick one. So it's like you have to set up the controls yourself. 
sounds like that just oh, still loading well, I haven't configured it Oh, no, I ain't gonna forget that. Dolphin emulator. That's because I haven't set that one up because there's, like I said, so many clothes, will we? Anyway. Job, honey. PC. It's an i7. 3770 CPU, one of the 3.5. See that? Got eight gig of RAM. Uh, graphics card is a GeForce GTX 750 Ti. I believe it's four gig of RAM. There is this PC. Four hard drives. Uh, the Windows one. It's Windows 7 no, I'm at my way. Is 500 gig. Then there's a four terabyte hard drive, a 500 gig hard drive, and then another, well, a two terabyte hard drive. And if you go in, these are just ROMs and games. So just pick. Uh, Radio games, Spectrum. Four thousand Spectrum games. Main ones. Main thirty three thousand files. Right, that's how many games it is. Nintendo Wii. Oh, that's how many Wii I suppose there is. But, um, show you inside. So stupid of me. I lent there and it went. So I'm going to reduce the price. I'm going to knock 50 quid off. It's only cost 20 quid. I did want 350, but 300. It's got an eye pack. You can see the buttons inside. I was going to make it a pinball machine. I'll put a button here. Never got around to it. Oh. So that's a PC, it's not in the case as you can see. Get it in there. Power supply, four hard drives, it's a Creative Labs sound blaster, uh, sub, and the speakers on the outside. 
so it's a nice fast PC and a good graphics card it's way overkill for you know MAME but all, there's all the other games what you can do with it so it just needs some TLC and it'll be I'll tell you play on it for hours you can even watch tell on it you plug an area in comes with the lead the lead is really long it's got to be over 20 foot long um, but so it needs configuring some more a, a lot more to get it all running perfectly but it's one of them you do it and then there'll be more ROMs so you keep updating it updating it updating it so please don't think you're gonna get it take it home plug it in jump on it you've got to know one about hyperspin maim you know things like that um but it's cheap uh but there's tons of websites that help you out if you ever need it's just a shame about that well thank you hello just a short video to show you the arcade machine basically i've had this about 15 years it came to me just a shell without no lid and it was completely gay so it was just a box um i've respayed not really good though but i've respayed them it's got a coin mech it doesn't work it's an ink on the inside of the coin mech it's just for show it's got a speaker there and there's a speaker the other side as well external nice sound i've completely covered it in black ash sticking back plastic and i put a new glass top on it this is over like 10 years stupidly the other day i rested on it and i cracked it straight across here big crack but i bought this glass from a glass company where i live in ashford and it was 25 pound uh they cut it to size so if you went to a glass company you know it's not gonna be all that expensive anyway so it's two player six buttons per player uh i think coin player two button volume power on and off coin player one buttons it's just a, a normal 1080p tft press pad button have to turn the monitor on boy i was going to wire it up so the monitor comes on but just didn't have time and i was gonna make it boot directly into hyperspin so you didn't see any of this windows but it's one of them things you never got round to comes with the keyboard and mouse as well while that's booting i'll show you how big it is length 34 inches by 24 inches by 30 inches high it will need two people and either a very small van or a state car or whatever Windows 7 Ultimate I'll go through the specs of the PCs later on so basically if you're purchasing this please don't purchase it thinking it's going to be working out of the box 
it's hyper spin you have to keep fiddling with settings and once you've got it right you know then it's okay believe me i have got 72 systems on here over hundred thousand games and i've only configured like two or three games so you will have to know how to configure a high spin maim uh, so please don't think you're going to buy it and it's going to be working straight out of the box do you know what i mean So, it has all the artwork, well these are the systems, as you can see, Jagger CD, but like I said, some of these, or quite a few of them, I haven't configured fully, um, it's like uh, Commodore 64 I haven't configured it with the keyboard um, but every game has all its artwork for that game it took me many, many, many hours. And just even under MAME, there's hundreds of games. I'll show you when I go into the system. Play them. So I've configured that one. Coin. Start. Good as the real one, though. <laughs> See how yeah. Okay, stuff. <laughs> I've been on it for so long, I can't even remember all buttons. Oh, so it looks like that's back, that's enter. Yeah. is gonna run oh that's in Gallagher ball position oh. there's somewhere This will probably be slow. Can't even remember if I configured it. Did you think it's a steering wheel game?
And uh Oh, not too bad. Well, I even went through the process of uh, putting like we. There's loads of uh, Wii games, but I haven't configured any of these. Uh, let's pick one. So it's like you have to set up the controls yourself. Sounds like that just. Still loading. Well, I haven't configured it. No. Dope. No, I ain't configured that. Don't friend me like that. That's because I haven't set that one up because there's, like I said, so many clothes, really. Anyway. Job, honey. PC. It's an i7. 3770 CPU, one of the 3.5. See there. It's got eight gig of RAM. Uh, graphics card is a GeForce GTX 750 Ti. I believe it's four gig of RAM. There is this PC. Four hard drives. Uh, the Windows one. It's Windows 7 no, I'm at my way. Is 500 gig. Then there's a four terabyte hard drive, a 500 gig hard drive, and then another, well, a two terabyte hard drive. And if you go in, these are just ROMs and games. So just pick. Uh, Radio games, Spectrum. Four thousand Spectrum games. Main bombs. Main thirty three thousand files. Right, that's how many games it is. Nintendo Wii. Oh, that's how many Wii I suppose there is. But, um, so you mean side?
Yeah, so stupid of me. I lent there and it went. So I'm going to reduce the price. I'm going to knock 50 quid off. It's only cost 20 quid. I did want 350, but 300. It's got an eye pack. You can see the buttons inside. I was going to make it a pinball machine. I'll put a button here, never got around to it. Oh. So there's a PC, it's not in the case as you can see. Let's get it in there. Power supply, four hard drives, it's a Creative Labs sound blaster, the uh, sub and the speakers on the outside. So it's a nice fast PC and a good graphics card. It's way overkill for you know MAME. But all there's all the other games what you can do with it. So it just needs some TLC and it'll be I'll tell you play on it for hours you can even watch there on it you plug an area in comes with the lead the lead is really long it's got to be over 20 foot long um, but so it needs configuring some more a, a lot more to get it all running perfectly but it's one of them you do it and then there'll be more ROMs so you keep updating it, updating it, updating it. So please don't think you're gonna get it, take it home, plug it in, jump on it. You've got to know one about hyperspin, maim, you know, things like that. Um but it's cheap. Uh, but there's tons of websites that help you out if you ever need. Just a shame about that. Well, thank you.